Hi, this is Paul from eBay Reseller Sandwell. Okay, right, so we've got this basic, well, last month's basic sales. Um, these are all the good sales that I thought were, were good. Uh, well, I've gone through quite a few of them. And uh, yeah, so we're starting off with the Pikachu 2DS. Okay, so I did sell, I was going to keep this, um, but I'm one of these people that, I don't know, I do like to collect things, but don't like to collect things because, yeah, in, in five years time this will be worth probably a lot more than 89.99 i did take an offer on it i think it was 85 quid plus the postage so yep what it owed me it owed me zero from that from the deal that i got um with all the games it basically uh yeah it was um it owed me nothing basically so this this owed me nothing so that was basically all profit after fees and that the same with this i kept this for the same reason as well um i'm not a pokemon fan of playing pokemon on a ds or any kind of computer really um i don't mind playing pokemon go but yeah so that went for a good bit of money as well so that was it was that and the 2ds was all profit um so yeah very nice again uh and then we have nintendo wii with seven games went for 35 quid plus postage so that was nice um most of these at the moment i'm sort of giving between uh 10 to 15 um so yeah and obviously they've got a lot of games of it i think this one come with a load more games and i sold off the games as well so happy days okay happy days motorbike um it is yeah i i picked this up a long time ago for a pound and it ended up going for an offer of £18 um, plus, it must have been, no, it must have been straight £18. Yeah, £18 it went for in the end. Um, I did have it originally up for £29.99 because it was, I believe it was the only one on, on, on uh, eBay. So maybe I should have stuck at it. But yeah, it's in very good condition. And like I said, I'll give a pound for it. So it was one of them things that I thought, yeah, there you go. But yeah, okay. Cliff Richard CD sold this um, to a subscriber, actually. I can't remember his name. I'm thinking Matt, but I can't remember. But anyway, thanks thanks very much for buying that. Um, that sold literally the day that I put it on there, actually, and the day that I bought it. I believe I give I believe I give a pound for it. Might be wrong. I might give 150. But yeah. Trivial Pursuit, brand new. I give... Mm. I want to say two quid because I think that's all I give for it. It was brand new, um, yeah, brand new sealed. So happy days on that one. Made a little bit out of that after fees and postage and that. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting, but still nice little, nice little bit of profit. This uh, CD player was all boxed. Um, give two quid for this, and it went for nine ninety nine plus two pound ninety postage. So after fees and that, probably made about seven, probably seven quid, like seven quid least. Yeah, probably more than that. Some more ink. I give a pound for these inks. Uh, I've still got a few left, and they are they are going. I do. I'd I'd happily buy ink all day long, but I haven't I haven't seen no one at the boot fairs or anything selling them recently. So yeah, bit of a nightmare. But there you go. So that was a nice bit of profit out of that. And then this, the Royal Family Gym Talking Doll, twenty nine ninety nine plus three ninety postage, very nice. Um, yeah, original doll. The only thing is, he is missing his glasses. Um, but yeah, I give four pound for him. So uh, yeah, and I believe he, he, I, he, I took a bid on him at twenty. I think it was twenty six pound, twenty six pound plus postage. So. Yeah, so yeah, that was that was a nice little bit of profit on that, and I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed getting rid of that because the person that I sent that to is probably really going to enjoy that because they're a really big fan of the show. Um, I sent them a DVD with it as well, which I got free with it as well. So yeah, um, yeah, that was I like that, and it, obviously nice bit of profit out of it as well. Okay, so this CD player was scratched right up. Um, shame really because it was a good CD player. It was all boxed as well. Uh, yeah, and obviously at the um, main adapter with it and the earphones, what have got the controls on it. 
so very nice there as well. Um, yeah, that went for fourteen ninety nine plus postage. Uh, I give, I give three quid for it. I'm sure they wanted four or five, and I'll give three quid for it because it was scratched up. Um, so yeah, a little bit of profit. That's what we're all about. Crash Bandicoot, I give a pound four. Um, very nice, fourteen ninety nine crack case uh, PS one. Um, I didn't have no PS one games at the time. Um, with uh, without crack cases, which was a bit of a nightmare, but there you go. But yeah, fourteen ninety nine, and I paid a pound for it. Game Boy, I'll be. Do you know what? I cannot remember what I paid for it, but I'd have definitely made money on it. Put it that way. Um, at least a tenner. Um, yeah. So there you go. That that was a nice Game Boy. That one there. Very nice. I do like selling Game Boys. Okay, Monopoly, Junior Monopoly, give two quid for it, after free postage and that, probably made, what would I have made, cost £2.90 to send it, Five ninety once I've paid, £4 maybe, yep, okay, then these uh, little, um, well this baby monitors, picked these up for two quid, I couldn't believe it when she said two quid actually. Um, but I've, I said, yeah, okay, cool. Um, give it a two quid. Test them, made sure they all work. Everything works fine on them. And I took a bid of 28 quid. Um, yeah, 28 quid plus postage. So, yeah, very nice bit of profit out of that one. Okay, Slinky, another Slinky. <laughs> Second Slinky I've sold. Uh, this one I give... I give... Do you know what? I, I genuinely do not know what I give for it, but it weren't a lot of money. I'm lost. I don't know what I give for that. I know I bought him with strawberry and a few other bits, I'm sure of it. But yeah, there's definitely profit in it. Okay, another Wii. Um, this is the Wii that I give a five or four, so happy days. 30 quid, free postage, after the postage, and uh, paying for it, and the fees, probably about a Round about 18, 19 quid. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit less. But still profit. And that was all boxed. Yeah, that was the box one. Yeah, happy days. Okay, Mario Kart. Um, there you go. Yep, I threw in a steering wheel with it. I picked up Mario Kart. When did I pick this up? Come in with a wee bundle, I think. I think. Um, yeah, and then I had a steering wheel, I threw a steering wheel in and made it a nice little package. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, all right, next one the Hornby train set. Du, 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 du. Okay, so some of you might remember when I bought this, I give £50 for this. I think this is the most I've ever given for something at a boot fair um, to resell. Uh, yeah, I took a I took a risk on it. Um, it was definitely worth taking the risk on. It did hang around for a bit, but I did actually get £165 plus £10 postage in the end. Um, so yeah, that was a very nice sale there. Um, but when you think about it, after fees, after postage, after paying for it, you're probably talking mm, probably about 80 quid, which is not bad, I suppose. Says I've sold two because I sold it and they I had no contact with the buyer at all. Um, but I originally had it up for two twenty five and I just thought I'd lower it. Um, yeah. So yeah, that was a nice bit of profit on that eighty quid. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, this game uh, come with a bundle. It owes me nothing. So eleven ninety nine. Winner winner. Chicken dinner. <laughs> Stylophone uh, cost me fifty p. <laughs> Um, I love the way that the person, the, I I went up to the person on the uh, store and, and uh, he was playing it <laughs> and then as he was, as I went up to the store he, he put it back on the store and I picked it up and said how much is it and the woman behind us said you can have it, you can have it, <clears throat> you can have it 50p <clears throat> so I said yeah go on and I'll have it and that went for 12 99 um, so yeah bit of profit out of that which was nice. Okay this is one of the games that I bought. I give 25 quid for a few 
decent games a couple of weeks ago at Raynham. <clears throat> so yeah, that was nice. <clears throat> Sorry. I took a bit of, I want to say 17 quid. Yeah, I took a bit of 17 quid in it. And I just thought, yeah, go go for it. Because um, I paid 25 quid for quite a few decent games. So happy days. Okay, next, uh, Disney mug, give a pound for it. It was all boxed, very good condition. I don't know, in fact, it was brand new. No one had ever used it. Um, yeah, very nice Disney mug. Uh, went for £10 plus £2.90 postage. Yeah, Super Mario, single game, um, come in with a lot, owes me nothing. Happy days, 8 49 winner, winner. Uh, same with this game, come in with a bundle, owes me nothing. Um, that's the way I like to do it. If, it, if I'm buying DSs, I'm lo I like to I like to look at it. The DS is going to bring the money back for what I'm paying for the whole lot, and then the games are going to be the profit. Same with this one. This was the same situation. Um, bought bought a lot, and uh, yeah, twelve ninety nine, nice bit of profit. And that one, as well, ten ninety nine. Happy days. Um, that one there, I would have given a pound for, so five ninety nine, a little bit of profit in it. Okay, right, we with two games. Um, I would have given ten pound for this um, at the very most, maybe been cheaper than that. Um, I've had so many wees lately, I, I can't quite remember what's what. Um, yeah, but sometimes I bundle them up with a couple of games. Um, yeah, so that that went for twenty nine ninety nine, but I would have made profit. Okay, Casio keyboard. I give seven pound for this. Um, went for twenty two ninety nine plus five pound postage. Not a massive profit, but not bad. Okay, these puzzles they owed me two pound each. I believe they're all brand new. Went for seven ninety nine plus two pound ninety postage. A little bit. Okay, this one here owed me two pound, and it sold for thirteen quid. I was going to say £16.90, but it was the postage, and yeah, uh, they made me a bid of a tenner, I didn't take it, we bid up to 13 and I just thought, so that you can have it, um, yeah, so I let it go for that, probably shouldn't have done, but sometimes I just think, yeah, go on then. Another wee, okay, I am selling a lot of weeds at the moment, <clears throat> 34 99 free games, um, yeah, once again, it owes me a tenner tops. Um, yeah, happy days. DSL, DSI XL. So DSI XL plus the postage. This owes me. Um, it owed me forty quid with quite a few decent games. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's no profit in that at the moment. The games are in the profit, like I say. Um, but yeah, yeah. So that's that. Right guys, well, that is the end of it, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And I will uh, see you all soon um, with another Boot Fair video. Um, there's going to be a few over the weekend. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. And I will see you all very soon. And subscribe if you're not already. Goodbye.